here we go, Rasmus Hodgland finally appears to be fit and in line to make his United debut against Arsenal on Sunday, although it remains to be seen if that is as a starter. And the Champions League draw takes place this evening with United in pot 2. Then Manchester United have just two days left to complete their business in the transfer window. Sofian Amrabat is Manchester United's transfer deadline before Friday night's dramatic deadline. The club need another midfielder before the deadline and want Fiorentina's World Cup star, who has sat out training in Italy. Elsewhere, the club are also in for Chelsea left-back Mark Cucurella, also on loan. Despite at one stage looking as though they had completed their major signings, United have been left scrambling for a left-back after Luke Shaw joined Tyrell Malaysia on the sidelines and are still trying to get another midfielder. Chelsea's Mark Cucurella appears to be the top left-back target. United didn't appear convinced on the Moroccan but are now looking to sign Amrabat on loan, having originally claimed that if Amrabat were to leave Fiorentina it would be for another club. Agency sources indicated United were under-promising ahead of over-delivery, but the possible addition of Amrabat would still raise questions about the club's strategy in the market. Meanwhile, we are just few hours away from the Champions League group stage draw. Well, maybe a bit longer once we have seen off UEFA's unnecessary rigmarole before actually pulling the teams out. It gets underway at 5pm in Monaco and will be streamed live on the UEFA website and TNT Sports, including on their YouTube channel. Manchester United and Arsenal are in pot two with Real Madrid, Inter Milan, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, RB Leipzig and Porto. Elsewhere, finally reports suggest that Sofian Amrabat is ready to fly to England for his medical. The Moroccan midfielder has been a long-term target for United. And a deal could get over the line before 11pm tomorrow. United want a loan move with the option of a permanent deal next summer to comply with FFP rules. About Mason Greenwood is that could link up with seven former Premier League stars at Besiktas. Sunsport understands that the Turkish side are interested in signing the Manchester United outcast, who will not be returning into Eric Ten Hag's team. Should Greenwood, 21, sign for Besiktas, he would link up with a number of familiar faces for fans of the Premier League. Daniel Amati, Rashid Gezel, Arthur Masuaku, Cenk Tosun, Milat Rashika and Jetson Fernandez are all plying their trade for Besiktas, too. Manchester United are still owned by the Glazer family as the club's proposed takeover rumbles on, proposals headed up by Sheikh Jassim from Qatar and British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe, via his Ineos company, have yet to be accepted by the Americans and United remain at a crossroads off the field. That means supporters will have to play the waiting game for a little while longer yet before looking forward to fresh beginnings. Sheikh Jassim and Sir Jim have, naturally, been radio silent with the red tape involved. However, there's plenty to consider around the proposals, not to mention protests towards the Glazers themselves. While there's nothing concrete to feast on at the moment, there are some interesting snippets floating around in the national and international media. Here's our latest roundup of the main takeover headlines. Manchester United hero Rio Ferdinand has doubled down on his criticism of the Glazer family regarding their lack of communication with the club's fan base. The Glazers confirmed they were undergoing a strategic review of their much maligned ownership in November. However, it remains unclear whether United's American owners are looking to sell the club or searching merely for fresh investment at Old Trafford. Sheikh Jassim, from Qatar, and British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe are understood to be fronting up two interested parties, but they have both signed confidentiality agreements to avoid hampering the process. Manchester United supporters are growing increasingly concerned about the state of the takeover with no progress having yet been announced. The Glazers confirmed they were conducting a strategic review into their ownership of the club back in November. Since then, they have failed to provide United fans within any updates on the saga. Men's Sport reported this summer Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani was worried the American family may not wish to sell the club after they failed to respond to his increased bid. United supporters have made their feelings known for some time now and thousands of them conducted a sit-in process after Saturday's victory over Nottingham Forest. In the latest look at the takeover headlines, fans who may wish for the Qatari bidder to come out publicly to put pressure on the Glazers could be disappointed. According to journalist Fabrizio Romano, the Sheikh is not willing to come out publicly and call for an end to the takeover stalemate. Romano claims the Qatari banker is keen to abide by the confidentiality rules of the takeover process. United warned lack of takeover is holding them back this summer. In an interview with Sky Sports News, 
Former Reds goalkeeper Mark Bosnich believes the lack of a sale is stopping Eric Ten Hag from signing the key players he wants to. He explained, an important signing is going to be difficult and a lot of that is to do with the fact that we still don't know 100% if the club is going to be sold. So I think they're tying up those things first before they can go out and look to make a major signing. One of the standout kits of the new season, the base color of the Adidas shirt is green with white stripes and maroon lines ensuring United will boast one of the most eye-catching shirts in the game for the 2023-2024 campaign. Manchester United's takeover has taken another twist at Old Trafford following a report earlier this week. Manchester United have not provided any answer on the progression of a takeover at Old Trafford, as Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano offers Give Me Sport his verdict on recent reports. The Red Devils have been on the market since November, with the Glazers looking to sell part of their stake in the club. According to The Sun, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani could complete his £6 billion takeover of Manchester United by mid-October. The publication claims that the Qatari has seen off competition from Ineos chairman Sir Jim Ratcliffe as he aims to buy the club from the Glazers. A date for the announcement is reportedly scheduled for next month as Sheikh Jassim's team complete their due diligence on the club. This would come as positive news for Man United fans who are desperate to see a 100% sale of the club to rid the Old Trafford outfit of the Glazers, who haven't been liked figures during their time in Manchester. Ratcliffe's buyout could have seen Avram and Joel Glazer remain at Old Trafford in some capacity over the next few years, frustrating the Red Devils faithful, who have developed a loathsome relationship with the American family. But, should the story be true, the Glazers are in line to make a massive profit on their £800 million takeover of United back in 2005. Sheikh Jassim reportedly plans to wipe Man United of their £725 million debt, improve the Carrington training facilities and upgrade Old Trafford. Romano has recently told Give Me Sport that he will respect all the reports, but prefers to wait for concrete information before commenting on the latest rumours. The Italian journalist claims that United don't want any leaks, stating that there is currently no answer which could dampen United fans' initial excitement. Whilst news of a takeover rumbles in the background, Man United must negotiate the transfer window's final week. Romano has also told Give Me Sport that the Red Devils are informed over a deal to sign Benfica goalkeeper Odysseus Vlacodemos as they look to provide stopper Andre Onana with competition. That is because, as Daily Express journalist Ryan Taylor informs Give Me Sport, current backup Dean Henderson will push for a move away from Old Trafford in the next week in search of regular first-team football. Sky Sports reporter Domesh Sheff has told Give Me Sport that United are unlikely to make any big additions at Old Trafford unless they can sanction a significant departure before next Friday's transfer window deadline. Elsewhere, Manchester United are informed on the conditions of the deal to sign Benfica stopper Odysseus Vlacodemos at Old Trafford, as transfer expert Fabrizio Romano exclusively discusses the club's goalkeeper targets with Give Me Sport. Eric Ten Hag hopes to sign a competent backup to the Red Devils' current number one in Andre Onana.